In the heart of Brussels, the exclusive Brafa Art Fair opens up a world of unique elegance. With a rich tradition of curating important porcelain objects from the Meissen Manufactory, Galerie Robig embodies the peak of artistic refinement. Each piece in our collection is not just an artifact, but a story woven into the fabric of history and preserved for the attentive eye. As you embark on a journey through time and beauty at Brava 2024, let Galerie Robig be your guide and discover a multitude of artistic wonders that transcend the ordinary. Welcome to an experience reserved for those who seek the extraordinary. Today we would like to take you into the world of the 18th century, into the world of Meissen porcelain, Böttger's legendary invention. In the beginning, however, it was not the white porcelain we know today, but a reddish material named Böttger stoneware. This teapot, whose surface has been polished like a diamond, was made from this material. Just three years after the manufactory was founded, in 1713, the white Böttger porcelain, from which these two lidded beakers are made, appeared. They were given their charming appearance by two ingenious artists the goldsmith Johann Jakob Irmingel, to whose designs the relief-like appliques can be traced back, and the porcelain painter Johann Gregorius Hörold, who developed his very own chinoiserie style in the 1720s, in which the figures were engaged in peculiar, sometimes humorous activities. In 1731, a man came to the manufactory who knew better than anyone how to create the most beautiful figures from porcelain. We are talking about Johann Joachim Kendler, who worked as a master modeler for decades. To him, we can attribute the two squirrels that he created around 1750.
Another highlight is the chest of drawers. It impresses not only with its shape and proportions, which were at the height of the time, but also with its decoration. The chest of drawers is enriched by the excellently crafted bronze fittings whose warm gold tone contrasts with the black of the lacquer. Instead of veneer, there is a lacquered surface with polychrome and gold chinoiserie paintings. A type of decoration that has its home in Asia was also popular in Europe in the mid of 18th century and became famous as Vernis Martin. Thank you very much for your interest and we hope to be able to give you an impression of our stand at Brafa. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you in person soon.